How did we do this? How do we get? To, how do we go from 14 and 29 to a perfect season? We organized our 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 team around three ideals, and these are three ideals that I believe ought to drive <coughs> all youth sports, all youth youth activities. Really, uh, they are number one: learn. The kids have got to learn something. They got to learn about the game. They got to learn about themselves, <coughs> and, and they got to learn some important life lessons. That's our role as adults to help them learn those things. <coughs> Second off is compete. The kids have got to be at the right competitive level. It can't be too, too difficult and it can't be too easy. We've got to get them in, in that, that, that uh, nice sweet spot area there where they have an opportunity to learn how to compete and be a competitor and, and, and be successful. And the final thing is, is that well, they got to have fun. I mean, baseball and softball, they are fun activities. They're, they're the greatest sports there, there are. And if the kids aren't having fun, then as adults, we're doing something fundamentally wrong. We've got to step back and say, okay, you guys figured out, you guys know how to do it already. Let's, let's uh, get out of the way and, and let you have fun. So those are the three things I want to talk about today. Fun, learn, and compete. But let's set the stage. So why is this important? Why is fun, learn, and compete important? <clears throat> well, we, I don't have to tell you, we live in a hyper-competitive environment. Leagues are competing for teams. Teams are competing for players. Uh, it's a very competitive environment out there. Uh, you've got indoor facilities, you've got year-round leagues, you've got, it seems like just about every 10-year-old has uh, at least one former major leaguer they're going and taking lessons from. The bar is being raised, it's a very hyper-competitive environment out there. And as adults, we actually drive a lot of that. I mean, you think about our, our work life, we compete for jobs, we compete for work assignments, we compete for spouses, we compete, I mean, heck, you, you drive down, uh, we compete for, for parking places at the supermarket. I mean, we, we kind of perpetuate this win-at-all-cost culture, whether we're aware of it or not. Our kids, it soaks into our kids, and, and that has an impact on them. Uh, but kids don't always speak that language. We've got a language barrier. Our the adults want to win, but what the research shows is that kids value something else. They view a lot, value a lot of other things above winning. Kids want other things. One thing is they want to have fun. Number one thing that kids want, they just want to have fun. They want to go play their activity, they want to go have fun. Now, and then going on down the list, they want to be with their friends, they want to learn the game, they want to learn how to compete, all on and on. The bottom of the list is winning. So you've got adults on one side here that are saying, hey, win, win, win. Uh, and, and you've got kids saying, well, it's, it's about something else. And so we've got this language where we're trying to achieve different things. So what does that mean? is that the research shows that by the time the kids reach 15 years old, 80% are going to quit their sport. Now some of that is just natural attrition. They're, they're, they're not good at it. If they find out that something else, they, they, there's, there's a normal attrition. But how many of us have, have heard stories like that of kids that they have a knack for the game, but there's something that adults did, whether it was a coach, whether it was a parent, uh, whether it was a coach on another team, that somehow turned them off. You know what? That's a shame. That's a tragedy. Now, if a kid out wants to go play lacrosse, that's where his passion is, and, and wants to give up baseball to do that, great, fine. That, that's great. Follow your passion. But if we're doing something as a larger baseball community to turn that kid off and push him in a direction away from baseball, we've messed up. We've messed up.